Protecting your family, especially in these uncertain times, may mean having a firearm in your home. Carly Kump with Intermountain Healthcare is joining us to talk about gun safety. And, and Carly, let's first talk about what are some of the risks that gun owners really need to be aware of. Uh, some of the risks that gun owners really need to be aware of is that it's important to just keep your gun safe because there may be a time in your life where you are at risk or someone in your household is at risk for suicide. So making sure that your gun is locked up or locked or off-site is a good way to, to make sure that you're safe. Okay, let's talk about the tips on how to safely have a firearm inside your home because you can do so as long as you follow some pretty simple but important guidelines. Yeah, there are some tips that you can use. You can store your gun off-site with a trusted family member or friend if you want to. You can also utilize a lockbox or a gun safe in addition to a cable lock or a trigger lock. Um, and storing your ammunition in a different area of the home or off-site is another way to keep your um, firearms safe. So storage is key, making sure it's protected, especially for young people that might be in your home. But let's talk about how Intermountain, when you have these gun safety uh, education, it also comes hand in hand with learning more about suicide prevention. So let's talk about how the two are so important to be together. Yeah, so unfortunately in Utah, suicide deaths are um, mostly by firearm. And so that's why it's super important that we make sure that we keep our firearms away from an adolescent or somebody in the house that may be in an emotional crisis. And I like how you said keeping the ammo and the gun far away from each other so that you have to be very intentional if you're going to get them together. Um, firearm suicide prevention, a major focus of your uh, zero suicide work in the community. So this is a message that you are really sharing with everyone everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. We work together with um, many different community partners and the Utah Shooting Sports Council to share this message. Um, we believe it's a message of safety. We just want to keep people here and we want to keep people safe. Exactly. And I love how you pointed that out. Utah gun groups joining in on this as well. So no matter how you feel about guns, the message is simple. If you have one, please keep it locked up. So let's go over those um, simple tips quickly again on what to do if you do have a gun inside your home. Yeah, either make sure that it's locked with a trigger lock and in your safe. You can actually get a trigger lock for free at any Intermountain Community Pharmacy, or you can email communityhealth at imail.org, or you can um, utilize Utah Safe Harbor Law, which means you can store a firearm at a police station, or store your firearm off-site, and make sure that your ammunition is also locked up separately or off-site. Okay. Very important message, very uh, simple things that people can do. For more information, do go online to abc4.com. When you get there, we will connect you with the Intermountain Healthcare website.